I want to talk to you about two things today. When I was originally planning to do this video, to be honest with you, I expected it to be about one thing. I expected it to be about the KKW concealer, the stick concealer package, which consists of two different color conceal, uh, two different color contours, a concealer and a highlighter, and they give you the brush. <coughs> Excuse me. But it turns out it's really about something that I consider more important as well. I learned about this product from Tati. I've learned a lot from Tati over the time that I've been on YouTube. And she, she has such a vast knowledge about the beauty industry and all the products and, and she tries so many things out. So she's able to help a lot of us make decisions about what might or might not work for us. When I watched her review and demo of this product, it made me want to try it. I really felt that it was something that might work extremely well for me. And uh, I have since tried it and I do like it and I'll talk to you about that. But then I started to read the comments on that review and I was gobsmacked. How on earth could people come to that review and come away with the feeling that she was dishonest or that she didn't tell everything or that she withheld information? People vilified her. And for what? for not mentioning that one of the sticks broke off and fell off? Forgive me, it happens. It's happened, I've seen it happen with many, many products. Some of the people were saying, it's, how could, that's such a terrible thing. How could it happen? The product is $50. Guess what? It can happen with any product of any price. I personally have bought products that have broken off the first time I used them and before. I remember at one point I had bought a brow product that I was very excited to try from NYX. Let me see if I have it. Yeah, this is it. I've used it for a long time now and it's all worn away. But what I liked about this product and what got, got me excited to use it was that it had the actual brow pencil and on the other side of that, was a um, concealer. So you could use that to do your highlight under your brows and I thought what a great thing. Came home, opened the thing up and the um, pencil, the, the lead in the pencil immediately dropped off. First time I picked it up, put it back in the thing and that was fine and I used it. Next time I used it, the bottom fell off. And I said, what the heck is this? And I was tempted to give it not a bad review, but to say it wasn't working because who does that? Who puts in a product that falls apart? As it turns out, it happens sometimes. I wound up losing the lead the second time, Couldn't never found it again, so that was the end of that product. So I said, that's it, I'm done with it. But over a little bit of time, I really liked it enough that I wanted to try it again. So I went back and bought another one. And the other one still had some issues, but I was able to make it work. And I love it. It's one of my go-to products for my eyebrows. I like it, it works for me, and that's the way it goes. I've had it happen with others, and I was watching before I ever bought the Miraness uh, stick concealer and contour, the tricolor stick, um, one of the girls who did a review on it also turned the thing all the way up and then went to apply it, it broke right off. That was a product that was well more than $50. Those things happen. So to vilify Tati for not mentioning that this thing broke up when she uh, pulled it all the way out. So what? 
she was talking about the product and whether or not she liked it. Now back to the product. So I wound up buying it and it was sold out in a lot of places. So now I wanted it even more as I think happens with us when we can't get something. I wanted to get it in the medium tone, which I did. And uh, what it has, let me see, it's double ended. It has two different shades in it. Okay. They refer to them as shade one and shade two. So at first when I looked at it, I said, ooh, that's going to be kind of dark. And once again, same issue that I often have with the Marinesse product. Not a lot of product in the thing. I have learned from her lesson, so I'm not going to bring it all the way out, but it's not big. It's really not big. However, what some people don't realize is how little product it takes to work. I used it today. I, I love it. I really love it. I used it here. I used a little bit on my jawline, and I used a little bit of it up here. Now, it's very creamy, and I think the way it works, and the way it's going to work for anybody, is very much dependent upon the products that you use beneath it. I tried it yesterday, and uh, it it went on a whole different way. It was it was easier to spread than it was today. Today I used my Marinesse uh, Velvet Maxi Lift Supreme as my foundation. And this went on a little bit less, it's creamy, but it was a little more difficult to blend out with a brush. Extraordinarily easy to blend out with my fingers. And I think you can do that incredibly well. I used the lighter contour shade on my nose when contouring my nose. Extremely happy with that. So I am pleased. It also comes with a concealer and on the other end of that double-ended stick is a highlighter. Very nice highlighter. Uh, concealer for me, eh. There are concealers that I have that I like a whole lot more. Can you use it? Certainly there are things that you could use it for and, and make it work. And some people might fall in love with it. For me, the highlighter, ha it's nice. Let me swatch it for you. Can you see it? It does have a nice highlight. I have other highlighters that I just happen to like better. So will I use it? Yes. Is it going to be my absolute go-to? Not necessarily. I also used a little bit, oh wow, I see that I smeared my under eye makeup. Son of a gun, that never happens. I used the What's Up today because I was dying to try that. And my when I first tried it on a day when I had makeup on for hours and just wanted to see what it looked like, the makeup that I was using that day did not work well with it at all. It showed every pore. It was like, you want to see a pore? Here I am. So I thought I was going to hate this thing. But as it turns out, no. I do like it. I use it a little bit over here. It's not in your face by any means. And with the makeup that I have on today, it really did not um, have my pores standing out. It, it didn't, you know, it, it was not making them a whole lot worse. So it's something I will use again. For the KKW product, it's my very first time with any of her products. I Apparently, there are people who absolutely hate her. There, there are people who love her. I don't care who the person is. I don't care what the company is. If the product works for me and I think it might work for you, I'm going to tell you about it. And I think this one is good, and I think it really might work. And I think the fact that it, it was $48.00. And I bought it from their website because I couldn't find it in any of the local places where it had not sold out. 
because you use so little and because you get two different um, con um, contours, I think you're going to be able to use it a lot longer so it's not as astoundingly high priced for what it is. Now for me, I really liked this brush when I first tried it. Tati did not. She felt that it was taking the product off her face. However, that having been said, when I did it today, I did it a little bit with this brush and then I finished it off with one of the regular brushes that I use. And as you know, I always, always defer to the brush that I cannot find at the moment, <laughs> which is my Doll 10 rotating brush. Now, this I know a number of people had wanted it, and I had seen it a while ago, but I didn't do anything about it. But the truth is, this is available through um, BlendSmart, and I will put a link to their website or where it is available down below. So you can get this now. It's not Apparently, this brush was a BlendSmart brush that must have been licensed to or there was some sort of arrangement with Doll 10 because I bought it from Doll 10 and it actually says Blend Smart on the back. And this is a little bit different from what I gather in the sense that this pulls out for cleaning and you put it back in until you hit the click. And from what I hear, the one from Blend Smart now is magnetic. But this, I love this brush. I could not function without it. I use it almost every single day for most of my makeup. It makes it fast, it makes it efficient, and it makes it flawless. So definitely works for me. I know Tati loves her Clarisonic, and I might love that too if I bought it, you know, the uh, brush that goes along with the Clarisonic itself. So I may try that at some point. I may not, I'm not sure. But I wanted to tell you where I was with this at the moment and how horrified I was, to be honest with you, that Tati had to go through that. She does such a great job. She works so hard at it. She is so good at what she does. And to have these people who latched on to one thing, saying that she was trying to get an invitation to the next party, give me a break folks i think it's time to get get a life or it's time for you to focus on things that are far more important than the little thing that you felt she left out though she didn't because she did talk about the fact that you shouldn't pull this thing all the way out or it can break no she did not mention that it did break on her maybe she was horrified that it did because of something she had accidentally done once again who cares. She was talking about the product itself and that to me is the important thing. So put myself out there. God knows what I'll get in my remarks if anybody sees it other than my usual wonderful group of ladies. So take care. Have a great day and I'll see you all really soon. Take care.